Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the media offline error in DaVinci Resolve 16. So, if I open up DaVinci Resolve, let's open up the software here. I worked on a recent project, uh, well, it was a tutorial, it was a beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve 16. So, I did a little beginner's tutorial recently. And what happens is, um, when I'm working on a project on DaVinci Resolve, normally I work, I have all the files on my desktop in a folder. But once I've finished doing a tutorial or a project using DaVinci Resolve, I'll move that directory to another location. So once DaVinci Resolve loads up here, it's not the quickest, but it should, you know, it's quite a big software. So let's let it finish loading. We'll see this error and then I'll show you how to fix it. So here we can see these different videos. You can see media offline here. This is a really old project I worked on, but this one right here is the most recent one. It's called Animal Planet version two. So if I click on that project and load it up, <coughs> you'll see all of these red boxes everywhere <coughs> showing us media offline. So it doesn't matter which tab we go to, this is delivery. We can look at edit <coughs> and we see this all this media offline everywhere basically yeah so what we want to do is relink these this content here <clears throat> and to do that we'll select all of them with our mouse so just select them all with your mouse like this right click on any one of them and go to relink selected clips here now I need to find where I moved the folder from my desktop to another location I don't know where that is that's going to be in this folder here it will be in um this one here <clears throat> and in here we should find the uh, DaVinci Resolve tutorial let's find that in here and these so this is it here DaVinci Resolve 16 beginners tutorial so if I open up that folder there is a there might there's no actually that's the install it's this one here so there is a subfolder but I know it's in the root directory the images or the, the video clips so if I select that directory there I know that all of these video clips are located in that directory, including the audio. So when I click OK, it's going to find all of the clips and reload them. And now my timeline will work perfectly. So if I go to the cutting, let's just check this. We should um, we should see the cutting start to show up here. So all of these are OK. We may have to save our work. Let's just save it. File, save project. We may have to actually reload the project. Let's try and reload it. So let's go to, um, let's see if we can reload it. <coughs> Where's our? Project manager. <coughs> let's try and double click. I don't think I can reload it from here. Let's just check the editor. So in the editor, everything is fine so I think we just need to reload it to see it quickly in the cutting here in delivery it's fine as well so let's just test that so we relink the clips um, here so we just selected them all right click relink and find the locations of them just a little tip for you try not to rename the files that can cause a problem so if you move them to a different location that's okay but try not to rename them because that can cause issues so let's close this We'll have to reload DaVinci Resolve and just check and make sure that everything is working correctly. This is probably how we have to do it. Um, unfortunately, we have to learn the hard way. So my advice is probably build your project or start your project in a location where you don't really need to um, move the directory later. So if you've got a, some sort of hard drive somewhere uh, where you can store all your, your files, and leave it in that specific location, it's probably going to be better for you than saving the files on your desktop and moving the directory because <clears throat> you have to relink these clips. So we'll wait for this to reboot and we'll see um, if that's all fixed inside DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so. <clears throat> We'll click back on this top project here. We 
We can see all our clips have been relinked as well. Let's go to the cutting. And inside the cutting, everything is correct now. It's not showing any media offline. It's scrubbing through clean all the way through the whole clip here. And we can see in the editor, let's go to the editor. It's all clean and correct in here as well. So that's all good. And Fusion should be connected correctly as well. Uh, we'll yeah, here's that Fusion clip that we can work on. And in the delivery, uh, let's see the color, color mixer here as well. That's all working correctly. And in delivery, we can see everything in here as well. So that's all working perfectly fine. That's how you go about getting rid of that media offline. I did a different tutorial for DaVinci Resolve 15, but it's using exactly the same logic. So I thought I'd do one for 16, seeing as people may be searching for that and not finding how to fix this error. And I can see a lot of people have a problem with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this down. Uh, I won't save this, don't need to save it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. Thank you.